All right, welcome back everyone. It is Laughing Games here. I am back with another StarCraft 2 1 vs. 1 replay cast. We're going to be having ourselves another one of these Alpha Star videos on the channel. I'm still kind of doing the regular StarCraft 2 cast, then an Alpha Star, then regular StarCraft 2 cast kind of thing. So a little bit of content for everybody, but I do know that you guys have really been enjoying these Alpha Star videos lately. And I have too. So I'm excited to get on into this next one. It's going to be a Grandmaster Protoss taking on Alpha Star. The GM Zerg, which should definitely be a fun match here, I think. Uh, oh man, we're already seeing something a little bit, a little bit early here. A probe moving very quickly across the map for this Grandmaster Protoss. Is it actually going to be able to block Alpha Star's hatchery? I want to say no. No, it is not. Yeah, so uh, ladies and gentlemen, as per the usual, just as these videos are getting underway, just going to say, let's try and uh, hit, the, hit the light goal of the day, which let's say for this video, uh, right now, Alpha Star has 20 minerals, so let's say 20 likes, there we go. <laughs> okay, on, on that note, uh, just waiting for the game to heat up a little bit. We've got ourselves just a gateway opening from the GM Protoss. I do enjoy the Alpha Star versus Protoss, or the Alpha Star playing Protoss matchup versus Zerg. I think it's a very fun one to watch. We've seen how Alpha Star doesn't build observers when it's Protoss, so I'm actually excited. I'll probably try and cast one of those games next, uh, Alpha Star, as Protoss again, as my next uh, video if I can. As a Zerg, though, it seems to have a pretty pretty good idea, I think, of how to play and everything. Uh, it's Terran can be a little bit derpy. It can be a little bit derpy in every in every single matchup as every single race, but ultimately Alpha Star really still fun to watch. For now, it is going to be... Let's see if it starts up its queens. Yeah, fires up its two queens while it's trying to secure up its third base. It sees the probe. It's like, oh, I'm not even going to bother. Alpha Star knows not to mess with the Protoss probe that was going to be blocking its potential third base. And then we just take a look here... Normal opening from the Grandmaster Protoss. And then uh, speed on the way for Alpha Star. So yeah, very, very normal build coming out of the Zerg. Uh, Alpha Star. Curious to see how it's going to play out. I mean, uh, I don't feel like I've cast too many Alpha Star Zerg games. I've cast a lot of Terran games. But Zerg games, I've, I've cast one, I've cast a couple, but not actually enough, I feel. So I'm excited to be able to uh, watch this one. Alpha Star having a hard time trying to secure up its third base. Actually, the, oh man, it gets the pylon block. That's, that's a little bit painful for uh, Alpha Star. All the while, the Adept is going to be coming across the map. Oh no, this poor drone. This poor drone could be in trouble. Alpha Star has a hard time taking a third base. Let me tell you, this drone, it's going to run. The Adept is pursuing, but that is a dead drone right there. The pylon gets canceled. The Adept is getting pursued. But, aw, uh, this is already a pain for Alpha Star. Losing a drone just to an Adept. If Alpha Star was a human, it would be getting tilted hard right now. Possibly going to lose a drone. Loses one drone. Is it going to lose a second? Aw, uh, third drone actually goes down. Alpha Star losing three drones to the first Adept. Having its third base de delayed, which is no good. It did, interestingly enough, fire up 14 lings behind this. So a pretty uh, sizable amount for this stage in the game. Going to be looking at counterattack, but this GM Protoss player already on top of it. Firing up two shield batteries, as a matter of fact. And then a pylon on the way, too. Uh, interestingly enough, this Protoss player fired up two shield batteries. I feel like that might be a bit of an overreaction, but he didn't know what was coming his way, so playing it safe. No one can really fault him at all for that. Another Adept pops on out. Warp Gate going to be finishing up. This Protoss player is going to be safe from the pressure from Alpha Star. These lings cannot get on in there, so it's just going to have no choice but to drone on up. Now, uh, one of the things that makes a good Zerg player so, so scary is their macro being really good. And Alpha Star, while it's derpy in a lot of ways, in a lot of senses, one thing that it does have is fantastic macro. It can lose tons of units, and it'll just macro up and make more. So, seeing uh, Alpha Star play, it could, it could really just be the actual swarm, just uh, swarming the Protoss player here if it gets up to a good Zerg economy. Queen gonna spot these Oracles. These drones could be a little bit exposed. Oh, the Oracles, they do turn around. It's gonna be, I don't know, it's not a barbecue because it's an Oracle beam, but these these uh, these drones are just getting hit with laser beams hardcore. The Queen is also gonna go down to these Oracles. More and more drones falling. If, uh, 
Yeah, just uh, if you're a Zerg player, close your eyes. This is just gonna get worse too. More oracles flying on in here. Three oracles just massacring all of Alpha Star's drones. Oh no, Alpha Star though, it definitely doesn't quit. It is firing up more drones as it loses them. So uh, it's definitely got that go make drone attitude. But uh, yeah, if, uh, if, if this was a normal PVZ, we'd be talking about how rough of a spot the Zerg player is in. We, but uh, Alpha Star, it just, it just doesn't hesitate at all when it's losing drones. Even for like a second, I feel like a human player would would have to pause while they address the oracles and then make a round of drones. Alpha Star seems to just do it all the while. So it is actually very, very good at macroing up. But uh, now it's going to have to stop all these adepts coming on in. And Alpha Star does not have a ton of units. It is running back with its Zerglings right now as these adepts are working away on the queens. They're not actually really target firing the queens. Drones are being pulled into the mix here, but so far the bosses, I mean, they're not great, but they haven't been super catastrophic or anything like that. Uh, Alpha Star also getting up a fourth base is at least nice for it. It might be able to chase down these adepts as well, which would be good for it. Gonna get a wrap around on some of these adepts, and I think, I think these lings can take them on, but no, they actually, uh, actually retreat as the oracle's coming in there. Alpha Star has made up more lings. It's now going into roaches as, as it fires up queens. The Protoss player, though, I mean, the third base isn't super quick for the Protoss. The commitment to all those adepts is not a small one, so we could actually be seeing uh, Alpha Star just play this one out and take the lead. There's definitely some uh, method to the madness. The Protoss player, though, is looking to put more pressure on with with his adepts, but he's getting counterattacked. The Ling's actually snuck across the map. They're going to be engaging these two Zealots here at the third base. I mean, uh, the Protoss player really getting turned around right now, and he's moving in with adepts, but... These are just slow adepts here right now. They And when I say slow, I mean they don't have resonating glaives. As long as Alpha Star has a few units out or in position or something, it should be fine to defend versus these. It can't really be can't really be overstated how awful slow adepts are now. The positioning is pretty good, but a few of the adepts do get separated. They're going to be the first to die. A shade is being queued on up. Uh, not sure where to. It was actually cancelled, but even uh, even uh, the roaches and the queens on the high ground helping out. So Alpha Star is really turning this game around, I feel. I mean, uh, the Protoss player does have a similar worker count to the Zerg, but Alpha Star on a four base economy going up to a fifth base economy can always fire up another round of drones and it is very good at that it's just got such good macro and it even seems to have a pretty darn good killer's instinct as we take a look right now the zerg player firing up roaches firing up ravagers gonna be looking to push on into the protoss and the supply really tells a story right now if it wasn't for these oracles i think the zerg could definitely push but even the queens coming on in to help zone them out alpha star trying to corrosive by the oracle it really has that go-getter attitude the queen's going to be crossing the map. Alpha Star wants to end this game right now. This could actually be a short video, ladies and gentlemen. We take a look here. More Lings on the way. More Ravagers on the way. The Protoss player has kind of sniffed this out. A Stasis Ward and three Shield Batteries on the way. But, oh man, is this ever a lot of Zerg. Alpha Star, I don't think, is going to be able to... Is, has the sense to bait out Stasis Wards. But we can, uh, we can find out here. All the while, we take a look right now. Queens just slowly inching across the map, gonna allow the Zerg to push on in to avoid these oracles. Another stasis ward is being fired on up. The Protoss player, though, getting baited to the low ground a little bit. Has got to be very, very careful here. More and more Zerg on the way. This is just oh, a big old army looking to push on up here. Protoss player just staying back under the cover of his shield batteries. The security of the stasis wards. One of the stasis wards actually eats a corrosive ball there. A beautiful shot from Alpha Star. The Protoss army, though, standing strong with the support of these shield batteries. The Queens and Ravagers want to push on in. It seems Alpha Star. Uh, doesn't really prioritize hitting the force fields with Protoss of Bows. Its army, though, is still pretty darn big. 102 army supply to 68 of the Protoss. The Protoss, though, of course has those shield batteries, but they're pretty much drained at this point. The Zerg even has his queens in the mix. Is looking to keep pushing forward. Protoss of Bows still going down, but so far, it seems the Protoss player has been able to hold on versus Alpha Star. And I'm wondering, at what point does Alpha Star just change its game plan? It looks like it's going to be trying to counterattack right now. A few roaches and lings trying to hit an another location. 
or I guess not counterattack, but hit from another location. So far, this Protoss player is standing strong as uh, holding firm. Alpha Star just says, right, the answer is to take another hatchery while this is going on. You gotta love that AI expand mentality. We take a look, Prosabal's raining down. The Protoss player is still trying to hold on. The Zerg has actually managed to breach up this ram for the first time, though. And with Ling's attacking at the natural, this is a little bit scary right now. The main Protoss army at the third isn't looking too strong. The Oracles are getting in the mix, but there's so many queens here right now. This Protoss player is going to be having a tough time. This is all of a sudden a ton of Ravagers here, and the rest of this army is not helping out at the natural. It's finally going to be moving forward to join on up here, but that could have been helping out in the main fight much, much sooner. Although, now that uh, everything's kind of been recalculated here with these additional Protoss forces, there is four Immortals in the mix. There is a decent number of Zealots to buffer for the Ravagers, and Zealots are actually very good versus Ravagers. Can the Protoss player start picking these high value units off in time? I'm not sure. The Protoss is really falling on supply. Probes are dying. It's a full on evacuation of the third. And I think Alpha Star with its uh, just go, go, go mentality might have actually been able to break this Protoss player. I thought the Protoss was going to hold. I was wondering what Alpha Star's follow up plan was going to be. But apparently the AI doesn't need one, it just says just go, go, go. As it's still rallying more lings, it's making five queens behind this. It, maybe this is Alpha Star going back into macro mode. It says, right, I need more queens. Or it's thinking the only thing I could lose to at this point is a big old carrier transition or something. I'm not sure. Archons are going to be very good versus the lings, but they're actually tucked in the back, not in a very good uh, angle there. Queens are also a little bit left behind here by Alpha Star, so this is nice for the A or for the Protoss player. Able to pick these off, but then oh, all of a sudden, Alpha Star, it's a bit of a bamboozle. The Protoss is out of position. The Zerg was trying to push in at another location, and all these Zealots could be getting caught here. The Protoss, though, engaging the Ravagers and Roaches without support, microing these units in the prism. Pretty good warp prism micro from this Grand Master player right now. But, oh man, this is still just so, so much Zerg here right now. The natural base of the Protoss has been getting breached. The Protoss player has taken a good fight in this location, but it looks like the Warp Prism has actually died. And all of a sudden, there's nothing really to reinforce these Immortals here. With the main base being destroyed, Alpha Star may have secured this. When I say destroyed, I mean it's pretty much just desolate. No probes there. The Protoss is on a two-base economy, but not even because he's mined out. I mean, it's really all on these Immortals. To make the next push happen and to win the game but I don't even know if uh, Immortals are that good. We're gonna see. This Protoss player really isn't a quitter just dealing with these links which Alpha Star by the way has been running around with non-stop just the play with Alpha Star just using the uh, Using these links to constantly harass the Protoss is really nice. It's been keeping the Protoss' attention away from the counterattack for a long time. Alpha Star, though, rallying roaches across the map. Probably wants to turn them around and consolidate. And consolidate it has so far. We're looking at a good number of roaches here for the Zerg. Going up against eight Immortals. There's some charge lots into the mix, though. This could potentially be what... Oh, <laughs> this could potentially be what uh, the Protoss player needs needs or but he starts plus one air weapons that's a little bit random it makes me wonder if he's an ai too all jokes aside though we take a look the protoss player is going in i think this is going to be the final push it could definitely do it though these are plus two immortals they put out so much damage is there enough to buffer alpha star wisely snipes off the prism and all of a sudden roach is connecting to the immortals the protoss player is trying to micro back and the stutter step back but yeah these immortals are dying alpha star is actually just uh crushing this Protoss player right now and GG man that micro at the end from the Protoss was a little bit interesting just uh not the most effective there just stutter stepping not really firing too much at the end though just Alpha started a good job getting on top of uh the GM Protoss and now ladies and gentlemen of course as per the usual if you enjoyed this video make sure to press that like button I know Alpha Star has kind of gotten its butt kicked in a couple of the past videos I've done but uh this, this game, it really uh, really played well, I feel, as the Zerg, showing uh, its go-getter attitude. And of course, if you're new to the channel, you stayed all the way to the end of this video, keep in mind I put out uh, StarCraft 2 videos every day, so you can consider subscribing. Regardless, I'll see you next time. This has been Laughing Games. Thanks for watching.